Look at that space. Look at that space. You see that little, uh. So, so that's a little shoulder. The impact Ben Simmons will have in Brooklyn may be monumental, but it's not just limited to the court. Damn. I ain't even warm up yet. His Ben Simmons Family Foundation has embarked on an eight-week leadership program aimed to advance social justice and racial equity for Brooklyn youth. The way I was raised, my parents have always told me to give back when you can, and I think that's something that's just very important to me. I was very fortunate growing up, coming from Australia, having you know a family that loved me and, and had all that support to get to the NBA and make it to where I've come. You know, I'm here to use my platform to give kids an opportunity to express themselves or, or do something that they love or, or feel passionate about, and uh, I'm excited to do that. I think for me, I've always wanted to give back to the community and you guys, and that's what it's about. Um, it's about passing on my knowledge and trying to help you guys grow um, for whatever situations you're about to go through in life. Everybody in here is here for you guys. I want you guys to grow as young men, women, and be successful and be happy and do what you want to do in life. Back in 2020, when all of the things happened with you know, Black Lives Matter and the murder of George Floyd, Ben in Australia started a campaign called Do More, using his foundation and his name and platform to create programs and break down barriers for people to have equal opportunities. And so working with his family and with his team and really all driven by Ben's vision, he wanted to create a program or create partnerships that had more longevity. And RISE is the most premier nonprofit organization in the country that uses sport to break down barriers. We try to empower athletes who want to use their platform in this space and so this for us was a, a really great partnership with the Ben Simmons Family Foundation because they focus on leadership, they focus on advocacy, they focus on breaking barriers to promote equality and so for us there was just a, a synergy and alignment. It may not always feel like you can say certain things to certain people but this is a safe place. I want you guys to let out what you got to let out. Nobody's going to judge you. I'll share what I, a lot of stuff that I've been through, if you guys want to know. You know, there's a lot of things that you know, everyone has, has dealt with. Um, it's not just me. Everyone deals with everyday struggles, whatever it is. I think the one thing that I want to pass on is just any knowledge I can give them, whether they're asking for you know, advice on basketball or life. That's everybody. You know, everyone has different situations. Um, so if I'm able to help these kids in any way I can, I feel like I've done my job. You saw him be hands-on because that's who he is. You know, he doesn't just phone it in. He's been here for two and a half hours, doing every conversation, every drill, getting down with the young people, sharing and being vulnerable and being open, because that's what's necessary for you to then get vulnerability back. The young people learned from him. They heard his voice. They heard his perspective on things. And that, to me, is, is truly amazing. It's one thing to see your heroes and see your idols on the court or on the pitch, but to hear from them in a private, safe setting, I think is amazing. And, and that takes an incredible vulnerability. You know, the fact that these kids were coming up to me and asking me questions about certain things was amazing. That's the whole point. We want these kids to be able to talk and communicate and try to learn as much as possible. Now again, we're going up. Keep it here. One, two, face up. I've always just felt strongly about giving back. Um, and being able to do that in Brooklyn now, it's a, it's a blessing. 